Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the T-Rex Miner on a Windows 10 PC. The T-Rex Miner was specifically designed to work with NVIDIA GPUs, so if you have the hardware, this might be the best GPU for you. So let's get started. So the first step is to open up our browser and head over to GitHub. And we want to head over to the T-Rex Miner page, which has all the official releases like the one we're looking at right now. And I'll make sure I link that in the description below. At the time of recording, the newest version that's out right now is 0.21.6, which was released about 23 days ago. We can then scroll down to the bottom here and find the release for Windows, which is the zip file that we found right here. We're just going to right click on it. And what we're going to do is we're going to click on Save As. We're gonna right click on it, click on save as. And what I'm doing right now is I'm gonna save this on my desktop inside a mining folder, which is right here. And what you wanna do is make sure that you save it in a folder that has been added to the Windows exclusion list. Miners are typically seen as a threat to the PC because of the way they operate, even though they're safe. So what you wanna do is make sure you add your miner to an exclusion list. And if you haven't already done so, you can check out this video and I'll walk you through those steps. So we're back at the desktop and you can see over here is my, my mining folder and there is the zip file that we just downloaded. So I'm just gonna extract it right now by right clicking on it and letting it expand all the files out. And then inside here, you can see that uh, it's now extracted the folder with all the files in it. And just to clean things up, I can just get rid of the zip file because I don't need it anymore. So now we can go inside the T-Rex mining folder and here's all the algorithm and batch files that we have listed. We just wanna make sure you actually have the T-Rex executable file. So just scroll down, it's in alphabetical order and here it is. So without this file, you can't do anything. So if you don't have the executable application in, then that's a problem. So make sure it's there. So you can see that there's various different uh, batch files that are listed here for different algorithms and different coins for Ethereum, for Firo, for Ravencoin. In this example, we're going to do Ravencoin. So what we're going to do is we're going to edit one of the batch files for Ravencoin, which is going to be this one right here. You just have to right click on it and then go up to edit. And then we have it open up in our notepad. So there's just a few things in here that we want to take a look at. We have the full address of the server, including the port. We have the wallet address and we have the name and that's pretty much it. So the first thing we actually wanna modify is this server address and port. And like I said, we're gonna be using the Flypool mining pool. So I'm just gonna open up my browser right now and I'm just gonna type in Flypool RVN for Ravencoin and it's gonna bring us to the website directly there. Just have to click on this link and I'll make sure I add this in the description. And we just have to click on start mining right here and it's gonna give us the uh, address information. So all you have to do is just scroll down a bit. I've just kind of scaled this a little bit differently so you can see both of them, the notepad and the browser. So here's the server address. So I'm gonna highlight this, I'm gonna right click on it and I'm gonna copy it and then I'm gonna go over to my notepad. I'm gonna highlight the address over here and then I'm just gonna right click on it and paste it in. Now you wanna make sure that you leave the backslashes before as well as these colons after because they're both important. And now we can go ahead and change the port number. And that is gonna be 3333. And next we have to change the username. Now the username is gonna be your wallet address. And if you don't already have a wallet, you can check out this video to install Exodus and get yourself a free wallet with a free address. I'll make sure I link that in the description below and you just need to paste your address in. The next step is to change the worker name. So right by default, it has rig here. You can call it anything you want. I'm gonna put in Geekwire, but this is just makes it visible on the dashboard and easy to find out if you have multiple PCs. So just type in the name here and that's it. We're done making changes to the batch file. You just have to go to file and save, and then you can go ahead and close it and we're ready to start the miner. So I'm just gonna minimize the browser because we're gonna go back to the dashboard later. And now I'm back in the folder where my Ravencoin miner bash file is. And the only thing I need to do right now is just double click on it or hit enter on your keyboard and it's gonna pop up on your screen and you'll see it start to execute. And it only takes a few seconds to get loaded. And right off the bat from the beginning, it lets you know the URL, which is a server that you're using, your username, which is your wallet and the miner name. So it's everything that we entered in here will pop up immediately at the beginning. It's gonna start looking for a job. And now you're mining Ravencoin with T-Rex miner on a Windows 10 PC. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. I'll add a link in the description as well for my blog that will walk you through all these steps just in case you find it easier to follow. 
And if you're looking for more guides on how to install crypto miners, wallets, and anything related to crypto, check out my channel, Crypto Jar. I'm uploading a lot of content related to crypto miners, and this is to help you make the most out of your PC mining and spot trends with new cryptos coming out. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and put them in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.